Welcome to Cisco Live, uh, Amia here in Amsterdam. Great to meet with you all here today. A really awesome event here at Cisco Live. Lots of customers, lots of partners, lots of engagement, lots of talking about hybrid work and contact center. Let me introduce our partner, uh, Elveo and Mikel. Mikel, please introduce yourself. Hello. Um, so Elveo is a software, software company. Uh, we develop uh, workforce optimization, optimization software for contact centers. We've been Cisco partner for more than two decades. And actually, our suite uh, is a set of tools for you know, compliance, call recording, voice recording, video recording, screen capture, uh, speech to text, translation. Uh, we do automated quality management as well as manual quality management, so improving the uh, contact center work and we do uh, workforce management. So tools that allow you to plan shifts of the agents according to uh, the expected demand. So we do forecasting, then we do scheduling. It's uh, lots of tools that helps to improve your contact center. An interesting thing that has always got me a little bit scratching my head around the, the contact center space is um, you know, that, that transition to hybrid work. Are you seeing any of that with regard to your contact center, our, our joint customers that you see out there in the world? Absolutely, yeah. we do, we do. Uh, of course, we are not always seeing, you know, that deep how they are working, but we can see it when we are talking to customers or new potentials, they're asking about, and do you uh, support remote agents? Do Are you able to capture remote agents? Are you capture? Are able to capture screens of the remote agents. Okay. Are you able to provide us with, with uh, tools for monitoring and for evaluating of remote agents? And we see it more and more often, so it's definitely happening. Okay. And do you kind of find like contact center with, uh, you know, the old traditional enterprise building with everybody sitting at seats, and then a, a percentage out in the uh, in the remote working environment? Is it that type of way that it's working today? Uh, yeah, a bit of both. So. Yeah, yeah it, it's both definitely. Yeah. And also depends region by region. Uh, it differs, so uh, definitely uh, Western Europe and US is far, far away from the other regions. It, it really depends, but it's, okay. both. it's both. Okay. And you know, one thing as well, I suppose really from a, a contact center perspective, you know, does workforce optimization have a particular segment where it fits into, or is it more generic, it's more agnostic, so to speak? Um, we do it the way that is generic and, uh, and agnostic, uh, but uh, of course that there are some segments where there is higher need for, for instance, for recovery, for compliance. Mm. So uh, the, the strongest verticals that where we, we are, where we are selling compliance is definitely finance and healthcare, mm. obviously. Makes sense, yeah. Makes sense because they are sensitive for compliance, uh, but we sell to all the different verticals, all the different segments, but those are the strongest one because the compliance needs. Of course, makes sense. So, great to, take, to hear a little bit about what you guys do, very much in that you know, workforce optimization type space, so to speak. Um, tell us a little bit about you know, working with Cisco, and specifically WebEx by Cisco, yeah? And, sure. and, and, your, and how, how that has matured over the years and whatnot, yeah? I can say you know, that today it's way different than it used to be. Okay. When we started 20 years ago, and when we developed our first code recording software for Unified Communications Manager, you know, uh, support for developers and like, uh, you know, APIs, documentation, it wasn't almost there. Yeah. You know, it was, very, it was very challenging to develop applications and to integrate. Even Cisco was forced coming, but you know, uh, at that time it wasn't that common. Today with DevNet, it's, it's different. It's entirely different. Yeah. There's a whole set of APIs, documentation, support, so it's much, much easier to integrate today. So much, much crisper and cleaner experience Absolutely. for... Absolutely. Partners such as of yourselves. Okay, so where do you see your product and portfolio going next? Well, we invested a lot in automation recently, and we're going to continue with that. And of course, everybody talks AI today, so we do too. Uh, we work on a more, let's say, AI-oriented uh, features within the suite that will help you to better understand what's happening in your contact center. What are the topics that people are talking about? Uh, what are the trends? So, so, so better understand what is happening, what will happen, okay. and also to uh, be able to uh, better address your customers' needs. Okay. Because you know the whole challenge of contact centers when it comes to quality management, uh, where the, uh, the, the, yeah, the evaluation and the quality process used to be kind of like manual uh, listening to calls and evaluating calls, but you know you are able to evaluate like one to five percent if you are lucky. With automatic quality management and speech-to-text, we are able to evaluate all of the calls. Okay. And then with conversational AI, 
we are able to you know understand topics understand what's happening what may happen which customers are about to leave you because they are not happy etc etc so there's lots of space for uh, optimization for optimization yeah right. that overused word sometimes mm -hmm. yeah yeah so this is going out to our customers, our resellers, our developer, out there in the real world. And I'm sure they're kind of going, oh, this is all cool, it sounds interesting, and you know, we've got Contact Center by Cisco, and where do I find more information, and what are the best channels to reach out to? Obviously, we're at Cisco Live in Amsterdam here, Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, which, is, which is ideal. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, those people who are watching in a month's time, uh, what are the best ways to engage with G-Folks, find out information, etc.? There's many channels, of course, we are presented at uh, Cisco DevNet Space. Uh, we have our web pages, alavel.com. Uh, we are on social networks. And we work with partners. Mm -hmm. So we have many Cisco partners. We're actually present uh, worldwide. So we have offices in Europe, in the US, uh, in the UK. Uh, lots of partners work over with LVL. And I believe that uh, we are easy to, to, to be found. Okay. And we're very happy to talk to anyone. Excellent, excellent. Anything to add as we wrap up this brief session today? Well, thanks for inviting. It, it was it was really great to talk to you. Uh, I'm happy to see the, the demand, and uh, I'm happy to uh, talk to new potential partners and customers. Thanks for that, Mikel. Thanks for that, Elevel. Uh, great, great event here, as I said already in Cisco Live and Mia uh, in Amsterdam. And uh, thank you for your time. Cheers, goodbye.